I saw some family members walking their way that way, and uh, as soon as we get something from uh, some of the folks, we'll let everybody know. But Jay Smith, the first car out to qualify in the ground pounded super late model category. Econo Bombers in the pit, Economy Bombers in the pit, gentlemen. You need to get lined up for your feature event of 14.65. Elabs timing for Jay Smith out of Silver City. Jay Smith coming around a 14.57. So Jay Smith will give everybody a little something to shoot at. Here tonight here at Dixie Speedway. As the next thing up, number 15, Brad Kennedy out of our Murchie, Georgia. Kennedy coming off turn number four and lap number one, a 14.71, 14.71, a lap timing for Brad Kennedy. Lap number two around the three eighths of a mile, Claybank Racing Oval. A 15.10, 15.10 elapsed timing for Brad Kennedy. Next up, Luther Jenkins out of Waleska, Georgia, the Butch Thompson Enterprises, number three car. Number made famous here at Dixie Speedway by his grandfather, Luther Carter. And a 14.59, 14.59 elapsed timing. For Luther. And a 14.33 elapsed timing for Luke Jenkins. That uh, will probably put him as a number one qualifier very early. Super late model qualifier. Next up, Scott Hall out of Rome, Georgia. Scott, he heads off turn number four and down on the front straightaway. And a lap timing of 15.35. A lap timing, 15.35 a lap timing. As the 07 car. Scott Hall, one more revolution. And a 15.03, 15.03 a lap timing for Scott Hall. All right, here's the man trying to put in Back to back to back wins together here tonight at Dixie Speedway. Clint Smith out of Sonoma, Georgia, big winner last Saturday night. Came back on Sunday night, took the season over at Rome. Can he make it tonight here at Dixie? 14.14 a lap timing. Clint Smith out of Sonoma, Georgia. That'll put him atop the leaderboard in super late model qualifying. Cat Daddy coming around. 14.147. Talk about consistency for Cat Daddy out of Sonoa. Next up, Little Joe Armstead Jr. out of Sonoa in the number 21 machine. Pat it on down on the back straightaway. Little Joe coming around. He knows he's got to go quick. 14.31. 14.31. A lap timing. For little Joe Armstead. And the elapsed timing is a 14.35. 14.357 elapsed timing. For little Joe Armstead as he finishes up his super late model qualifying. Next up, Michael Page out of Douglasville, Georgia. The TNT Trucking CNS Auto Electric Machine. Whoa, look out outside wall. He gets up loosely in the marbles and that hurts lap number one of 15.06. And we're hoping lap number two gonna be a whole lot better. And a 14.49, 14.49 elapsed timing for Michael Page out of Douglasville, Georgia. Next up, Big Eddie Blackman out of Villa Rica.
And he coming off turn number four, and he'll stop the Tommers with an allowance timing. And our electronic. Go. Big Eddie Blackman out of Villarica, his second and final lap. Fifteen point two seven. Fifteen point two seven lap timing for Eddie Blackman out of Villarica, Georgia. All right, so here we go as our next car, our next contestant. To come out out of the speedway, going to be the number 66 car of Jody Knowles out of Tyrone, Georgia. Pedlin' Town on the back straight away. And a 14.370, 14.370 are the numbers that Jody going to put on our Coca-Cola scoreboard over in turn number three. Fourteen point four five, fourteen forty five elapsed timing as Jody knows finishing up lap number two. Here we go with the number thirty three car of Brian Reese. Our next car out to qualify out of Sharpsburg, Georgia. Brian heading off to turn. Oh yeah, look at him. He looks strong. <laughs> 14.47, 14.47 lap timing for Brian Reese out of Sharksburg, Georgia. Fourteen point six one, fourteen sixty one lap timing as Brian Reese will finish up his duty. Next car out going to be the number twenty six car, Tony Knowles out of Tyrone, Georgia. As he makes his way out onto this three eighths of a mile clay bank racing oval. Econo Bombers in the pit area, gentlemen. I need you lined up. Let's go. A 14 point two two two. And if I'm not mistaken, that'll put him as a number two qualifier. So Tony knows turning those triple deuces into the number two qualifier. Woo -hoo. 14.16, that will still put him as number two, if I'm not mistaken, because Cat Daddy turned to 14.14. He turned to 14.16. Real close, you guys. Econo Bomber, oh, Daddy, for Wayne Eccles out of Coven, Georgia, as he gets up into the marble and makes his way to the outside retaining wall. So looks like, uh, all right, so Mike Jones will send him out over on the back side along with uh, Daryl Mansfield. Daryl at the bottom end, uh, Terry Hyde up alongside Mike on the back side. Here we go with Tyler Millwood, next car out to qualify. First lap of 14.80, 14.80 lap timing for Tyler Millwood. This is a car that uh, Clint Boyer drove in the prelude to the dream in 2010. The 2011 version comes Wednesday night. How about a 15.08 a lap timing for uh, the X car of Tyler Millwood. Ja uh, Tracy Watson, X car out in that number 11 car. Tracy Watson, a 14.934, 14.93 a lap timing for Tracy. 
beautiful night here in the stay in Woodstock, Georgia on a Saturday night. As a 15.355 are the numbers for lap number two for Tracy Watson. All right, here we go. Number 24, Buster Goss in that corn tassel bonding company car. The boss bringing that number 24 car around with a 15.49 elapsed timing. 15.49. And Buster, he'll finish up on lap on his second and final lap. With a 15.27, 15.27 elapsed timing for Buster Goss's Corn Tassel Bonding Company. Here we go, the 101 car. T.C. Roberts out of Tercola, Georgia. Casey coming around a bit and he'll stop the timers with a lap time. 14.111, Casey Roberts. He is the man, number one qualifier. Oh, cutting up like a broke leg dog. Coming off four. How about a 13.97? 13.97 for Casey Roberts, number one qualifier. <laughs> Things are getting a little hot up here, I gotta tell you. As the next car coming out, Ricky Williams out of Fayetteville, Georgia. Ricky Williams coming around the bend, a 14.44. 1444 elapsed time for Ricky Williams. As lap number two coming around the bend, 14.80, 14.80. A 13 second time in 100 degree weather. Shouldn't happen, but it did. Lee Sutton. Out of Taylorsville, Georgia, the last feed supply. Track record holder, a 13.80. Sutton comes around the bend. 14.44, 14.443 timing for Lee Sutton as he makes his way down on the back side. Lap number two. 14.32, 14.32 on out timing for Lee Sutton out of Taylorville, Georgia in that land speed supply car. Next up, number 25, a brand new car for Shane Clanton out of Locust Grove, Georgia is a capital chassis machine. The RSD, oh, Southern Auto electric car, he's quick. 14.25 for Clanton. Getting the new off that car quick. Man, I'm telling you what. 14.47. 14.47 for Shane Clanton. As Richard Yeoman's in the number 59, the next car out to qualify. Econo Bombers in the pit area. Economy Bombers in the pit area. Gentlemen, you're up next. For your feature event, Econo Bombers in the pit area. Gentlemen, let's roll them. How about a 15.65? 15.65 allowed timing for Richard Yeomans out of Austell, Georgia. Fifteen fifty-two allowed timing. Fifteen point five two allowed timing. Next up, the F9, Fast Frank Ingram out of Ackworth. Whoa, yeah. Ingram uh, got a little bit too quick going into turn number one. He backed off. That's going to hurt lap number one in that corn tassel bonding car. 15.07. Car, oh, he's going to have to say, there you go. Help a brother out. Help a brother out. Fifteen point one three, and not exactly where Frank wants to be on the Bill Inger Memorial right there. He that car just uh it's rainy. Here we go with Tim Day out of Planet Alpharetta.
Tim Day puts the Alpharetta Pine Straw car to work. Don't run on the back straight away. Fifteen point two three, fifteen point two three lap timing. As Timmy Day, one more lap around this three eighths of a mile clay bank reaching oval. And the numbers that he puts on our Coca Cola scoreboard 15.28, 15.28 for Tim Day out of Planet Alpharetta. Next car, final car out to qualify out of Powder Springs, Georgia, Derek Rainey. And the Bartow Enterprises machine. Mr. Ms. Bartow in the house with us over in turn three and four. Good to see you guys. 15.13, 15.13 a lap timing for Derek Rainey. Hopefully second lap gonna be a whole lot quicker. And a 15.01, it is quicker, but not exactly where he needs to be is Derek Rainey out of Powder Springs, Georgia. Out of Tacoa, Georgia gonna be, uh, he did the do here tonight at Dixie Speedway with uh, the number one qualifier, and that's gonna be uh, Casey Roberts out of Tacoa, Georgia. He jumped down into that. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the drivers, the four wide salute to you, the fans, and make it all possible here tonight at Dixie. the stage has been set the four wide salute to the fans 35 laps three thousand dollars up for grabs here tonight here at dixie speedway all right Next time by, when they come off turn number four, Glenn Daniels will let that green flag unfurl. Can Clint Smith make it three in a row? Last week at Dixie, Sunday at Rome. Can he make it tonight? Again, here at Dixie Speedway for the building of Memorial. As my old buddy Jimmy Mostello would say, the fuzz getting ready to fly, y'all. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Shane Clanton out of Locust Grove, Georgia. First time out, the new. You can still smell it on that number 25 car. First time it's seen dirt. Tony Knowles down up underneath. Little Joe Armstead, Lee Sutton, Luke Jenkins, Jody Knowles, Ricky Williams, Brian Reese. Michael Page, Jay Smith, we are getting ready to go to green. Green goes down and we're off. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Clint Smith will lead lap number one of the Bell Ingram event here tonight at Dixie Speedway. Luke Jenkins down on the bottom, Lee Sutton up top. He's got it 
coming back. Smoke coming out from the car of Clint Smith. And he's on fire. Clint Smith. I saw fire down in turn number one and number two. Don't know what it was, but Cat Daddy's night is over. Now Tony Nome and Casey Roberts getting a little bit of breathing room from the rest of the field as they cross, come off turn number four and cross the start finish line stripe. He was looking for a good run. Mart in 13th spot. As Jay Smith up against the outside retaining wall. Overall turn number two. And something going amiss with the number 25 car. Waiting for a report on the far side. All right, report we get on the back side. He is okay. And Cherokee County EMS gonna check him out a little bit closer. All right, so the, the X. Oh, they locked the candles. Coming off turn number four, and we are going to green. Glanton high, wide, and handsome coming off the corner. He mutters his way into the number two. Oh, my goodness. He. The door post, little Joe Armstead, Casey Roberts, here comes Jenkins. Oh, Tony Knowles says, hold on, cuz it ain't over yet. Clanton up into that Mostella zone. Now he goes down to the Oh, my goodness. They drag race down the backside. Quentin can go anywhere he wants to, high, low, in between. And looks like the caution flag going to come out. Derek Rainey off the pace and give him any breathing room whatsoever. Little Joe Armistead, Lee Sutton. That's the way the top five is on the board. And the green goes down for Shane Clanton. One more time. Tony Knowles and, Shane and Casey Roberts, great race going on between those two. Tony's down low, Casey up high there, three wide, coming off the corner. Jordy Nipper, high, wide, and handsome, down on the backside. And number 18 coming back out onto the speedway. Michael Page out of Douglasville. And the TNT Trucking Special. Now Shane going to be 
hook it up to some traffic here in just a few moments. Ingram up on the high side. <laughs> Shane Clanton. Something going to mess with the number 18 car. As caution flag coming out for Michael Page out of Douglasville, Georgia. We'll bring that capital race cars into turn three and four, waiting on Glenn Daniel to unfurl that green flag. And hey, we got it. We're off to the races one more time. Three wide they go. And look at here. Brian Reese into the number four spot. He hooked her up on the bottom, and now he's going to town. Here tonight, here on. He put it together, nose up on top. Casey Roberts still down low. Lee Sutton, Joe Armstead. Continue to battle it out down on the backside. Casey Roberts putting the heat on your leader Shane Clanton down in turn three and four. Brian Reese doing likewise with Tony Knowles. And look at here, Brian Reese, he moves up into the number three spot, but here comes Tony Knowles right back on him. Brian Reese out of Sharpsburg, Georgia. Looking for his biggest win ever, but he's got to get around some heavy dudes in Casey Roberts and Shane Clanton. And you know, they ain't going to give it up that easy. Oh, it's something. Reese gets a little bit out of shape coming off too. models in the pit area limited late models in the pit gentlemen let's get them rolling limited late models in the pit gentlemen let's get rolling as Shane Clanton we are 10 Shane Clanton is 10 laps away from three thousand dollars here tonight at Dixie but uh, looks like uh, Tracy Watson Going green. Here we go. Shane Clanton one more time will lead him on turn number four. Looks like Armistead, a muffler uh, of uh, something. It flew up into the high side. All right, Jordy Nipper. We see Buster Goss climbing out of the number 24 car. Scott Hall, and we get to report everybody okay, you guys. Give him a big hand, I'm telling you.
Everybody okay. A little shook up, but Jordy Nipper. We see Buster Goss climbing out of the number 24 car. Scott Hall, and we get to report everybody okay, you guys. Give him a big hand, I'm telling you. Hey, race fans, I want y'all to get a good look at these race cars. Scott Hall. Give this guy a hand, y'all. Give him a hand, man, I'm telling you. There ain't no way. Buster Goss. <laughs> man, I'm telling you what. Buster is still ready to go. And I got to tell you, some of the best racing that I've ever seen here at Dixie Speedway back many, many years ago. Racing's good now, but when you had back Buster. In there. All right, here we go. Looks like uh, Shane Clanton going to have to have a little bit of a push from the Kubotas. And Tony Knowles, Brian Reese, and Lee Sutton. That's your top five. And here come Buster Goss. $3,000 here tonight at Dixie. Can he keep it together? We're going to find out here in a moment. Three wide, they head down the backside. Here come Ingram. You can't ever count him out as they come across the. Ho oh, ho! Oh! Luke Jenkins and Lee Sutton. So it looks like Lee Sutton and uh, Luke Jenkins. And the green we go. And look at fast Frank Ingram. Why, hey, these guys don't care about stacking them up three wide. Frank Ingram, he cracks the top five. Look at here, Casey Roberts, Shane Clanton to go together down on the backside. Oh yeah, Clanton high, wide, and handsome. He takes it back over, but here comes Casey Roberts right back on it. Boy, howdy, I got to tell you, Casey Roberts doing everything he can to get around that number 25 car as they head down on the backside. And Brian Reese, he moves up into that third slot. And I'm telling you, <laughs> what a battle we got played between Shane Clinton and Casey Roberts. Locust Grove, Tacola, Georgia. Now Clinton beginning to heat up them Hoosers just a little bit more. Casey Roberts still giving it all he's got. Roberts drives hard into the corners. As here comes Roberts right up alongside your leader. One more time, they just gonna make it a little bit more interesting. Casey Roberts, brand new leader. And we are three laps away from Peter here tonight at Dixie Speedway.
Casey Roberts out of Tacoma, Georgia. He is your leader, but Clanton, we're two laps away. Oh, look at here, look at here, y'all. Casey Roberts will take the white flag. We are one lap away as they head into turn number one and number two. Casey Roberts out of Tacoma, Georgia. He'll take the checkered flag here tonight at Dixie Speedway for the Bill Ingram Memorial. Shane Clanton, after leading all those laps, he'll come home with a runner-up finish. I'm telling you what, this Casey Roberts did his thing tonight. How about a big hand? Casey Roberts, your winner here tonight at Dixie Speedway. Well, Johnny, I'll tell you what, Casey Roberts out of Tacoa, hey, he's our Bill Ingram Memorial winner. First of all, Casey, buddy, let me give you that flag. Congratulations, man. Good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. We, we uh, had a real bad year so far. I just can't thank Mr. Miss Cushman enough for standing behind me, man. We just had such a rough start right here, so hopefully we can uh, – this is definitely some good medicine for us. We really, everybody needed it. It's just been long, hot, and we got burnt out on it. But uh, I really do, I really do like coming out here. You know, we don't get to come out here much. So uh, it's real special to me to get a win here. Well, I'll tell you what, to win the Bill Ingram Memorial, i tell you what, uh, that's got to be special also. It, it sure is. You know, he uh, he's definitely a hard racer, and, uh, you know, I don't never got to meet him, but definitely uh whole Ingram family, you know, has been a real asset to the racing community around here, I know. So it's real cool to win that deal. All right, brother, congratulations. Casey, good job. I, uh, let me get, got something else right here. Let me get that for you. Big, Casey, beautiful we'll trophy. get you up there track side, but congratulations. Good job. Johnny, I tell you what, Casey Roberts out of Tacoa. Hey, the Bill Ingram Memorial winner.